We have added a cloud for our application in the Cloud on Time app. Our cloud is represented by a tile. The tile displays the name Product Inventory, and the color is derived from the default theme and accent. Let's launch the cloud by tapping on the tile. Here we have a cloud running in Cloud on Time app. The default theme is light, and the accent is aquarium. Users can change the desired theme and accent. Application branding is an important technique to provide cues to the user as the purpose of the application. Assigning specific themes and accents to each app can help the user associate the app with your company branding or associate colors with different functionality available across your set of apps. Let's assign the dark theme with lacquer accent to our product inventory app. We will also want to add a description and assign an icon to the app that will be visible on the My Clouds list and displayed every time the app is launched. Switch to the app generator. Click on the project name and press develop to open the project in Visual Studio. In the Solution Explorer, double-click on the touchsettings.json file. This file contains runtime configuration of your application. Let's add the property host. This property will contain additional properties read by Cloud on Time app when a cloud is first added by the user. We can specify the name that's displayed on the cloud tile with the property name. Use the description property to provide a short description for the user. By default, the extension icon is used for all app tiles. Let's change our icon to something that reflects the functionality of our application. First, we want to view a list of available icons. Open your browser and navigate to material.io slash icons. Let's find an icon that we would like to use. Let's use the store icon. Specify the icon in the icon property. First specify the name of the library, material icon. And then specify the name. Make sure to replace all spaces with dashes. Next, let's set the default theme and accent for all users of the application. Specify the UI property. Inside we'll have the theme property. Specify a name of dark and an accent of lacquer. Finally, let's prevent the user from changing the theme. Specify the settings property. Under Settings, add an Options property. Set the Theme property to False. We will need to redeploy our application in order for our users to see the changes. Switch back to the App Generator. Click on the project name. Press Publish. Select Azure and press Publish.
notice that the application is now using the new dark theme and the lacquer accent. First, we'll need to remove the cloud registration from Cloud on Time app. Click on the user menu and press exit. Click on the three dot menu on the tile and press delete. Let's connect our cloud. Notice that the lacquer accent is used as a background. It displays our new store icon, and it displays the description that we specified. Let's go ahead and add the cloud. Notice that the theme menu under settings is no longer available. We can also define a background image to be used for the cloud tile. Switch back to Visual Studio. Let's add the property image to the host object. Specify the URL to a publicly available image. We will point to the default account manager background image available in all apps. Let's redeploy this application one more time to push our changes to production. In the app generator, click on the project name Select Publish, press Azure, and let's start the publish process. In the Cloud on Time app, let's re-add the cloud one more time. Notice that the image we specified is now displayed on the background of the tile.